Hey Trojans, it's Mr. Gardner with our third of our five return to school videos. This video is going to cover our bell schedule, a little bit of information on classrooms, a little bit of information on Troy time, and then how we're going to go about uh, taking care of lunches. And as I said before, a goal without a plan is just a wish. We have a great goal and our goal is, our safety goal is HS students and staff go home healthy. Okay, you've heard this before, safety over convenience, get used to this. You're gonna hear it a lot from me when you see me in the hallways. Okay, a little bit of basic information. Hand sanitizer dispensers are located outside of every classroom. Students must sanitize their hands before entering each class. Students will clean and wipe their desks and chairs before leaving each class. Spray cleaners, okay, the district approves spray cleaner. Um, it's going to be used. Your teachers will do the spraying on your desks at, towards the end of class. Students will wipe them clean with micro towels, microfiber towels, no less, and they will be available in all classrooms. Each class, there'll be one for each student, and we're also going to have those available at lunch. You're never going to have to use a dirty towel. They're all going to be clean at the start of each period. You're going to wipe your desk down. You're going to throw them into a bucket, and at the end of the week, uh, they're going to be picked up by a laundering service. So. We're gonna have about 6,000 towels going through our school every single week, so we wanna keep things clean. Teachers will explain cleaning protocols and review as needed. Okay, so let's talk about the bell schedule. Bell schedule is gonna be real similar to what we're doing for distance learning. It's only off a little bit to allow for passing time. So we know the arrival time at school, if you watched the first video, um, is we enter the building between 9.20 and 9.35. Anything after that's going to happen through the main entrance and our, through our attendance office. Okay, we know we're going to quarter four. So our three classes are going to be fourth, fifth, and sixth. Fourth period is going to go from 9.35 to 11.25. It's a 75-minute period, not 80 minutes. Now, here's what's going to be different than the past. Um, we are going to stay physically in the same location to access our Troy time. Troy time is going to be accessed the way we've been doing it all through distance learning. It's going to be through your Chromebooks. Teachers that are in front of you in your fourth period class, more than likely, probably 90% chance, are going to be interacting with students from other classrooms or from home through their Chromebooks. So if you do have um, some headphones you want to bring, it could be really good for this. If you got earbuds, that's great. Um, I don't know how much talking goes on during Troy time. Um, but uh, sometimes we have common lessons going on, sometimes we don't, but let's just kind of keep the volume down, do the best we can to kind of space ourselves out in classrooms. I think we can make this work well. Okay, after Troy time is over, we're gonna have five minutes to pass either to lunch or to fifth period. You'll find out what lunch you have. You, you, we're gonna run three lunches because we have to have um, less people in the lunchroom than before because we still have to go six foot distancing. We have to go mass, of course, until you're sitting down and eating and drinking. Um, and we'll give you a little bit more information on that when we come back to school. Your, your fourth period teacher is going to cover this with you um, your first day back. But basically, about a third of us will have first lunch, about a third of us will have second lunch, then we'll return to fifth. And about a third of us will go to fifth the entire way, and then we'll end our fifth period with lunch. And then we just head off to sixth period. Okay, sixth period's probably, I'll just call it the cleanest period in terms of things we have to do and remember. You just go to sixth period and there for 75 minutes and you stay till 2.45. And uh, that'll bring us to the end of the regular school day. Exiting time around our building is going to be between 2.45 and 3 o'clock, and one of our videos actually covers the way we exit school. Okay, let's talk about classrooms. You're going to notice when you walk into classrooms, we definitely, in the building, keep our masks on, covering our nose, mouth, and chin. Hand sanitize as you walk into classrooms, six-foot distancing in all learning spaces. Teachers will provide their specifics on their classroom routines. And we're going to follow classroom social contracts. Teachers will assign seats for contact tracing. It's really important that we stick with the plan that each teacher lays out. You're going to notice that some of the classrooms, like the first two, the one on the top left, the one in the middle, there's double side seating. Um, we only want one student per table. And the teachers will give you some guidance on what side they want you sitting on. So if we take the middle picture here, you might have that desk right there. And the teacher might tell everyone who's sitting at a double desk, sit closest to the windows, okay? So you'd be sitting here and here 
and here and here. And you'd be in the left hand side. If a single desk, you just sit at the single desk. Okay. And then at the end of the period, you'd be cleaning that. And then probably the next class that comes in, the teacher would just tell them to sit towards the wall side. All everything is going to be fine. Everything's going to be sanitized, clean. Um, but that's just the way teachers kind of um, keep their classes as uh, um, organized as possible. Some classes, there's only senior single desks. Okay, as you're going to notice that in our cafeteria, our commons area, we'll be using a lot of those desks for lunch. Okay, Troy. How do we keep everybody together? Everyone uses the hand sanitizer on arrival to classrooms. Go straight to your sign seat or workspace. Face forward, maintain mask wearing and six foot distancing. Now we don't expect you to know your space uh, or your seat the first day. Work with your teachers and uh, they'll help you out. How do we show respect? We stay in our assigned space, keep our masks on, stay in our six by six areas and follow the classroom social contract. How do we stay organized? We follow the teacher's routines and protocols. We clean up our areas at the end of class with a designated cleaner using the available clean microcloth. Like I said, one per class, the teacher will do the spraying. We're all happy that you're back and know that we wanna keep you safe as well. That's our goal. This really is all about you. Always remember that safety over convenience is all about you and your health. Okay, let's uh, transition to lunchtime. <laughs> when we're doing lunch, uh, this one's gonna be way different than it ever was before. Students and staff must wear multi-layered mouth nose coverings at all times in the school setting. This includes at the end of the day when waiting in the bus zone area. You're gonna get a lot of reminders in these videos. During meal time, removing face coverings is needed, obviously. Maintain six foot of distancing is essential to reduce the exchange, chance of exchanging droplets. Okay, and I'm talking the COVID-19 type. Just in case someone shows up asymptomatic, that can happen. This also helps keep our family safe when we return to our home. So one of the things, if you've been to Auburn High School before, you know that uh, we installed a lot of these counters and tables on the end stairwells in our building, um, the 200, 300 level, second and third floor. Um, I want you to know, at least while we're doing hybrid, these are off limits, okay? We're not using those for quiet eating spaces. We just, we don't have um, the capacity to do that. Everybody's going to be down in the commons or out in a courtyard. Okay, so following the overall plan of assigned seats, it's going to work really well. Um, Want to make sure we respect by cleaning up after ourselves, we follow all COVID-19 safety requirements, organize once you're seated in the cafeteria, the commons or out in the courtyard, that's where you stay until lunch is over. Remember, you've made a decision to return. It's important that you uphold all safety precautions and make sure that everybody remains safe. Okay, so where do I get my lunch, Mr. Gardner? Okay, we're gonna have several areas. These might not be 100% accurate because we're still working on some of the plans. If you're on the third floor, we may have a spot, um, a third floor grab and go. We may not have a lot of students up there, so we might just have you come down to the second floor or we may not have a lot of students on the second floor, we might have the spot up there on the third floor. But basically we're gonna have um, like a kiosk like we do for breakfast after the bell. You're gonna be able to grab your food if you don't bring your own lunch. And then you're gonna head down to the commons and we're also gonna have a station there. One of the openings, the bays will be open, the very first one that my cursor is on right now. Um, we're also gonna have one at the north end as it indicates here in the sign. Okay, so we're still working on that piece. We'll have it all solid before you get here and we'll let you know exactly what that looks like. Okay, um, we have indoor uh, seating and we have outdoor seating. And the indoor seating, it's gonna be one student per table. Okay, they're the little desks that we have in classrooms. You can have one chair and yes, you can talk across six feet. You can have your mask off, but we really need you maintaining your six foot of distancing. When you're outside, um, oh, here's a good, a good picture of what it's going to look like. So this would be a desk and a table. This is where you could have your lunch. You'll have people around you. This is all sitting there by itself. You can see we have the commons set up down here. We don't have chairs in there yet. It's still early, um, but we have a pretty big commons area as you can see. And each lunch is going to have about 140 students. And I think we can fit everybody in the confines of the commons if we need to. All right, we are going to open up our courtyards and we are going to rent some tents, these awnings. And we're going to put them over three, four, five, maybe even six of these kind of these round picnic table situations. 
only two students per table, okay? So if you get out there, you have a seat, someone who's sitting with you needs to sit opposite of you, okay? So that's the way that's gonna look. We're gonna have in the West Courtyard, the tent's gonna be over kind of where we have the bike rack, uh, skateboard rack. If you're in the East Courtyard, um, it's gonna be more front and center. Okay, so how do we show that we're following our Troy values of being together? We follow the plan, whether eating in the commons or the courtyard. And yes, we do have to clean up after ourselves. People will come around with spray bottles, custodians, administrators, any staff member, and then just use your micro cloth. We'll have them in the commons. You'll be able to get one each day, a clean one, and then you'll throw it in a designated bucket before you leave. Uh, I want you to stay in your chosen eating areas or locations each day. You may change each day, but once you've sat somewhere or placed something down on a surface, that becomes your self-assigned spot for lunch that day. We really have to adhere to that. We also have to stay in our location throughout lunch. So if you choose to go eat out in one of the courtyards, that's where you need to be until lunch is over, until it's time to clean up. And this is totally, totally safety over convenience. It's not going to feel very intuitive because usually we can travel around the lunchroom, but this is different. All students need to feel safe and comfortable with eating at AHS. Students remember to be respectful and practice our safety protocols each and every day so that we can leave healthy. Okay, so again, let's always make sure we play it safe. If at any time during the day you're experiencing any of the symptoms associated with COVID-19, it's better to get checked. Ask your teacher to go see your health tech, or if you see a staff member in the hallways, you can walk to an office if you need to, if you're not feeling well, and we'll route you to the right place. Um, it's, generally, it's gonna be around the counseling office. We're not gonna enter the main counseling office door. We will have signage. We'll explain that to you when you're finally in the building. Um, we just wanna let you know that we want you to be safe, and if you're not feeling well, it's better to have someone come pick you up than it is to keep you out in the general population. So thanks for watching. We've got two more videos to go. That's the end of video three.